What's going on y'all? I'm Czar, and in this video I want to go over some new things that was introduced in Studio One 5.5. I won't lie, I was expecting a little bit more with this being a .5 update, but I've said it before, Studio One has so many features that's been added to it over the years that there's just not a lot to me that can be added anymore. So I don't think we'll see any more updates or new versions with like a hundred new features or anything like that. Uh, but 5.5 seems to focus heavily on the project page, which is a good thing because that uh, the project page certainly has felt neglected. I can't even remember the last time something new was added to the project page. So i uh, very happy to see all the improvements come to the product page for everything that was added for it. Now, in this video, I want to go over the three things that has been annoying in Studio One that Presonus has now fixed in Studio One 5.5. And the first one is going to be copying pads in Impact. I was so happy to see this. Uh, we can now right click on a pad and go to copy pad and paste it to another pad. This is something that I'll give them a pass on version one, but this definitely should have been here from version two on. Just a very simple uh, thing that, a uh, simple feature. Uh, that has been added that will make life a whole lot easier for Impact XT users. And uh, sticking with Impact XT, we no longer have to grab the, let's mute this for a second. We no longer have to grab here to adjust these sample lengths. If you have a Atom SQ or an Atom, I have an Atom, and you can now adjust these now from the Atom, which is very nice. It, puts me back in the mind of uh, using an MPC where I'm setting the sample length by turning the knob. So uh, with the Atom, if you hold Shift and hit Select, uh, Select will go white, and then the four encoders at the top. Uh, the first one is your sample start. Second one is your sample end. Third one is your zoom. And the fourth one is scroll. Let's see. There we go. The fourth one is scroll. So very nice to see that added. Again, uh, making life very easy for Impact XT users. And the last one is, I've got a loop in here. So we've always been able to time stretch from the end of an event. If you hold, <clears throat> hold Option, we can time stretch it from the end. But finally, now we can time stretch from the front as well. Uh, making it easier to time stretch files and get them in place to where you need them to be. So that's three features added in 5.5 that just makes the workflow easier that all three of these I found annoying before 5.5. So much smoother workflow we now have with 5.5. Uh, let me know what you think of 5.5. What do you think of the new features that were added? And, you know, of course, this is a free update. If you have Presonus Sphere, then just go and download it. Uh, check your, um, what is it, help, and check for updates if it doesn't prompt you to update it from the start page. All right, if you enjoyed this video, I appreciate a thumbs up. If you want to continue to see content from me, then you know what to do. All right, any questions, comments, let me know, and I'll catch y'all next time. If you're interested in having me mix your song and my mastering engineer, D. Lyles, master it, check my link tree in this video description. From there, you can email me, you can visit my website, and check out mixes that I've done.